Our second lesson is about cell structure which is really important to both AS and A to biology. Have a look at the specification. Now we're going to look at the differences between an animal and a plant cell. You should remember some parts of this from GCSE. They basically have the same things except animal cells have lysosomes and plant cells have chloroplasts, a cell wall with plasmodesmata, which are holes for exchanging substances with adjacent cells, and a vacuole, a compartment that contains cell sap, they're both called eukaryotic cells. The plasma cell surface membrane is found on the surface of animal cells and just inside the cell wall of plant cells and prokaryotic cells. It's made mainly on lipids and protein. It regulates the movement of substances into and out of the cell. It also has receptor molecules on it, which allow it to respond to chemicals like hormones. Lysosomes are round organelles surrounded by a membrane with no clear internal structure. It contains digestive enzymes which are kept separate from the cytoplasm by the surrounding membrane, and can be used to digest invading cells or to break down worn out components of the cell. A chloroplast is a small, flattened structure found in plant cells. It's surrounded by a double membrane, and also has membranes inside called thylakoid membranes. These membranes are stacked up in some parts of the chloroplast to form grana. Grana are linked together by lamely, thin, flat pieces of thylakoid membrane. It's the site where photosynthesis takes place. Some parts of photosynthesis happen in the grana, and other parts happen in the stroma, a thick fluid found in chloroplasts. The nucleus is a large organ L that is surrounded by something called a nuclear envelope, a double membrane, which contains many pores. The nucleus contains chromatin and often a structure called the nucleolus. Chromatin is made from proteins and DNA, DNA controls the cell's activities. The pores allow substances, for example RNA, to move between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. The nucleolus makes ribosomes. Golgi are a group of fluid-filled flattened sacs. Vesicles are often seen at the edges of the sacs. It processes and packages new lipids and proteins. It also makes lysosomes. A ribosome is a very small organ L that either floats free in the cytoplasm or is attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is a system of membranes enclosing a fluid-filled space. The surface is covered with ribosomes. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is similar to rough endoplasmic reticulum but with no ribosomes. It synthesizes and processes lipids. Mitochondria are usually oval shaped. They have a double membrane, the inner one is folded to form structures called cristae. Inside is the matrix, which contains enzymes involved in respiration. It's the site of aerobic respiration where ATP is produced. They're found in large numbers in cells that are very active and require a lot of energy. Centrioles are small, hollow cylinders containing a ring of microtubules, tiny protein cylinders. They're involved with the separation of chromosomes during cell division. Cilia are small, hair-like structures found on the surface membrane of some animal cells. In cross-section, they have an outer membrane and a ring of nine pairs of protein microtubules inside, with a single pair of microtubules in the middle. The microtubules allow the cilia to move. This movement is used by the cell to move substances along the cell surface. Flagella on eukaryotic cells are like cilia but longer. They stick out from the cell surface and are surrounded by the plasma membrane. Inside they're like cilia too, two microtubules in the center and nine pairs around the edge. The microtubules contract to make the flagella move. Flagella are used like outboard motors to propel cells forward, for example when a sperm cell swims. Proteins are made at the ribosomes. The ribosomes on the rough endoplasmic reticulum make proteins that are excreted or attached to the cell membrane. 
The free ribosomes in the cytoplasm make proteins that stay in the cytoplasm. New proteins produced at the raffia are folded and processes, for example sugar chains are added, in the raffia. Then they're transported from the R to the Golgi apparatus in vesicles. At the Golgi apparatus, the proteins may undergo further processing, for example sugar chains are trimmed or more are added. The proteins enter more vesicles to be transported around the cell. For example glycoproteins, found in mucus, move to the cell surface and are secreted. The organelles in cells are surrounded by the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is more than just a solution of chemicals though, it's got a network of protein threads running through it. These protein threads are called the cytoskeleton. In eukaryotic cells the protein threads are arranged as microfilaments, small solid strands, and microtubules, tiny protein cylinders. The cytoskeleton has four main functions. The microtubules and microfilaments support the cell's organelles, keeping them in position. They also help to strengthen the cell and maintain its shape. As well as this, they're responsible for the transport of materials within the cell. For example, the movement of chromosomes when they separate during cell division depends on contraction of microtubules in the spindle. The proteins of the cytoskeleton can also cause the cell to move. For example, the movement of cilia and flagella is caused by the cytoskeletal protein filaments that run through them. So in the case of single cells that have a flagellum, for example sperm cells, the cytoskeleton propels the whole cell. Prokaryotes are extremely small cells, less than 2 micrometers diameter, their DNA is circular. They have no nucleus, the DNA is free in the cytoplasm. The cell wall is made of a polysaccharide, but not cellulose or chitin. They have few organelles, no mitochondria. They have small ribosomes. An example of a prokaryote would be E. Cli, a bacterium. Eukaryotes however are larger cells, they are 2 to 200 micrometers in diameter. Their DNA is linear. They have a nucleus present, the DNA is inside the nucleus. They have no cell wall in animals, a cellulose cell wall in plants or a chitin cell wall in fungi. They have many organelles and mitochondria present. They have larger ribosomes. An example of a eukaryote would be a human liver cell. Prokaryotes like bacteria are roughly a tenth the size of eukaryotic cells. This means that normal microscopes aren't really powerful enough to look at their internal structure. The diagram shows a bacterial cell as seen under an electron microscope. 